<clears throat> this right here will be the last wrap up. That's the other side of the city, the ancient city here in Egypt. Dealing with the ancient Sultan church. And you can see the pyramid right here. We're closer to it. Coming from the other side. This is the last wrap up. Closer to the city, or closer to the pyramid coming from the other direction. We get as close as we can. But also, we got another part over here dealing with the city. Coming back here, this is what's going on with this. And let's get closer to the step pyramid as close as we can. Last time I was able to touch it when I was out here, but now they're doing some uh, work on it and they don't want stones to fall on the people. So we'll get as close as we can. Oh, but there is another good part I gotta show you. So here's the pyramid. Coming as close as we can. You can see where they got the scaffolds up doing work on it. This is the work that's going on out here. So again, this is the last wrap up. Let's go towards the other direction. As we leave up out of this place. I never know tomorrow I might go to, or in the next couple days, southern Egypt going down towards Aswan because keep in mind there's like 70 pyramids going down the Nile River all the way into Sudan. Most people just think when they think of pyramids they just think of Egypt but they go all the way down the Nile. Now let me tell you how powerful the Nile River is. Only 22% of the Nile River is in Egypt. The rest of the percentage of it, that 80 to 70% goes into other countries. Now let me show you how big this thing is. The Nile River is like 4,000 miles. Now you can uh, see what that is in kilometers, but if it's 4,000 miles, that means you could put close to two United States of Americas <laughs> just inside the Nile River alone. And that don't all, even go th all the way through Africa. Africa is real, is bigger than what you think it is, going from the north all the way to the south. So just by, by those numbers alone, you can see how great and how big a lot of this stuff is. <laughs> yes. So this is a, uh, awesome places I come upwards and this is the pyramid I'm up on top of a big part of the city now and look at all of that all of that behind me 
Like I said, Greenland, all of them is down that way, about 20 kilometers away. And all of this is taken. We were just down there. We'll try to work our way back out of here. So hopefully we'll take you on some more adventures since I'll be here in Egypt for a few more days. And when I go off into my next place, my next destination, I'll just take you on more adventures. <laughs> this is all wonderful again. There's the pyramid, we're leaving it. And that's the Saqqara, the Step Pyramid, which is one of the oldest pyramids in Egypt. And like I said, there's 70 of them that's accounted for going all the way down through the Nile River. So again, there's a lot of pyramids. When you think of pyramids in uh, Africa, you just think of Egypt, but they're also going into other countries through Sudan and everything else. <laughs> right. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey. And again, this is a good place right here. Look at that artwork. Look at that engineering. This is awesome. The whole city. This is from the one end of it. Oh, let's go see these steps over here. Something caught my eye. Boy, this is a big place. Like I said, this is a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Those of you who are in the cold regions, always keep in mind you're still living in the sun. All of us is affected by it, and we live in this electromagnetic field. So human photosynthesis exists everywhere. That's why we even use the symbolism of the Christmas tree, because even in the wintertime, it still have the power to stay green. We put presents up under it and worship it due to the fact that it can do that. So again, take advantage of this great skill that we have of human photosynthesis. Look at that ancient city. Look at that roof made of straight up stone. That is awesome. Not wood, but stone. That's why it lasts the test of time. Now let's see, could we make it out of here in one piece? <laughs> I'm getting lost in the city. So this is a nice place out here. I'm happy and satisfied. Hey, how's it going? I got a roll. Look, look, You hear a group of young girls, they didn't have fun. They're satisfied. So I hope y'all enjoyed yourselves. Oops. And we're heading back out through the pillars just the way we came in. Look at that magnificent work. And look at all of these pillars. And this is when you're coming into the city. And like I said, back in the late 1800s when they first found the pyramid, it was sitting on top of the sand. And you can't even see these pillars. So they actually had to do the work to unearth these things. And right now, this is what you got. So can you imagine about 4,000 years ago walking through this just to get to the city? <laughs> Humanity is awesome. All right. So again, I hope you enjoyed this tour. I did about five videos today. I'll put them all together later. And then again, this is how it looks when you first come inside. 
and look at that whole city. And there's the pyramid right there in the city of it. So see y'all soon. Love y'all and have a nice day. <laughs> Woo! It's been a great day again. Life is good. Always live life to your highest potential. Now, of course, you don't have to come to historical places like this, but even if you was near a river, uh, well, I'm good. This bag? Yeah, I'm good. This nice. If you want to give it rice. So, wherever you at, enjoy planet Earth. Enjoy nature. Enjoy one another. And even on our Modern accomplishments, don't look down on it when you see a skyscraper or a big building. You're still dealing with human ingenuity no matter what age is in. The main thing is you are an unlimited being and you bring happiness to yourself. <laughs> All right, see y'all soon. <laughs> Wonderful day. There it is again as we're leaving. And I had a good one. All right, and this is the man who brought me out here to show me a good time. <laughs> All right, talk to y'all soon. <laughs>